why don't we have a new mould for the new year? So we'll get started and have a little look at this one. This is from Diorama Debris, the silicon rubber mould. It is 135th scale and it's a stone wall block. The mould number is 1350003. I will put a link in the description for you. And this is produced in the UK by RJ Nice. Now, we'll open it up and we'll have a little look. Excuse the big hands. Right, as normal, there's not a great deal to see. But there is one thing on this though. All of these blocks are different thicknesses. And as I'm talking now, I'll put it up on the screen of all the different sizes. So if you'd like to pause it, and have a look because it won't be on there for long so all these are all different uh, thicknesses for different jobs uh, as normal you can't see a great deal of detail in there uh, but you know what these molds are like they're very surprising after you've uh, cast them now I'm going to cast this one uh, I'm going to cast it with uh, uh, a bit of black in the actual mix uh, because most of these blocks even though they probably were sandstone and things like that they were actually sort of like a dark grey so I'm gonna have a I'm gonna do a bit of a head start on myself and do these in grey probably highlight them a bit with uh, a bit of black uh, this particular mould is being I purchased this one for a new project well it's not a new project it's a project that's been going for a while on my other channel and that's the road to the Rhine and I started doing a bridge in brick which I ended up not being happy with but I'm gonna do it in block like it should be and hopefully uh, it will be it will look a lot better so that's something that will be coming over to this channel very soon but what I shall do now, I shall get off and I shall get these cast and we'll have a look. Okay, welcome back. Uh, as you can see, I've done a little bit of casting. Now I'll just run through the actual blocks because you get these in all different sizes. Now they're all the same height, which is uh, 5.75, that's the height that way. Uh, but they vary in the actual depth now to start off with this one this side here uh, you actually cast 11 in the mold and it is 6 mil deep and that's 12 mil and the next one to it this is a 9 mil and that's a 6 mil deep one and you only cast two of those for some strange reason uh, moving on to the next one now you cast 12 of these ones and they're 3.75 mil uh, in depth uh, and the next one to it you cast four of these and that's the nine mil one and that's the same as 3.75 mil in depth and then moving along again now you cast 10 of these and they're 2.75 mil in depth and this is yet again another 9 mil so they're all 12s and 9s and that's 2.75 mil in depth as well and these little ones down the front here you've got your 12 mil but that's 1.75 mil in depth and the one is the 9 mil and that's the same 1.75 mil in depth uh, they're extremely nice blocks uh, as you can see well detailed they look like what they should be stone stone blocks uh, lots of different applications I can see them being used for uh, I mean these ones here I mean you could use these as flagstones uh, which would look pretty good also we could use them for cladding to actually clad uh, if you make a building out of uh, uh, 
uh, foam board and you can actually use these for cladding there's lots and lots of different things that these can be used for and I'd be here forever if I tried to actually make some demonstrations for you so but there is going to be a few little issues with this because these are for my road to the Rhine now if you do them dry fitted like so uh, there's going to be no sort of issue with them uh, because they've been dry fitted uh, they can be glued together quite easily uh, the thing I've got to think about is if you want a mortar joint in it that you're going to have to devise some way of actually doing your mortar joint uh, so I will be doing well I will be trying to work out different ways uh, easy ways quick ways of actually doing the joints uh, because the simple reason is if you're building something quite big there's going to be a lot of uh, mortar joints between it so that's one you're going to have to leave with me and I shall uh, do a few experiments uh, with that and when I find something sensible and practical I'll do a short video and let you see it so really that's it that's all I can really say about these blocks they really are nice blocks they've come out well colouring wise I will say I was going to go for uh, grey when I did some grey ones and I put them in to my box to weather them with the sand and a bit of pigment they didn't come out looking that good so I changed over to uh, a buff and they do weather up extremely well and I said put them into my sandbox uh, I would do <laughs> I'm already on the process of doing a video on sort of pre weathering before you actually assemble so that will be coming up soon so that's really it on on these blocks uh, I have a load more molds uh, just actually come in this morning I've got to, uh, another four molds here so I shall be quite busy over the next couple of days doing uh, reviews on them so thank you very much for joining me and we'll see you on the next one